Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a hair review on Snob Life um, on their HD wigs. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. So I've had this hair for about a month. Initially when it came, it was in that dark brown color. I did end up calling it a mixture of black and blue black, just to give it, you know, that little exotic feel. Um, also, it had a little bit of shedding. It wasn't a lot, but it was, you know, nothing to be concerned with. Well, I will say fast forward this month, the shedding is, it's pretty crazy. Um, it's not so much like when I, well, I got one strand, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I got one strand just running my hands um, through it, but it's all over the floor. Like wherever I am, I'll look down, it'll be in my lap. I'll look down, it'll be like on the pillow, on the couch. Like it's like, it's just falling out. Um, so that is one thing. I don't know if I just got a bad one or what happened, but that's what's happening with mine. Um, the It was pre-plucked. I didn't really like the hairline, so I um, just kind of customized it more so for to my liking. Um, it had a lot more lace showing than what I like. Um, it had more baby hair. Um, so it had like the lace and then it had like the space for the baby hair. I cut all that lace off. I don't want it. So this is kind of what it's looking like. And it looks really natural. Um, and you can part it anywhere. And I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks, it looks really natural, but I will say with the knots, the knots are, in my opinion, really resilient. Um, I bleached the knots twice. And I'm thinking about bleaching them again. And here's why. I have some spots where the knots took beautifully to the bleach. And then there are some spots, I mean, even in the front, to where they're still dark. They're like a dark brown. They're not black, but they're definitely uh, more visible than what I would like. So beware of that. I used 30 volume developer on both tries. Now, granted, it could be that I was scared of over-processing it, so I didn't let it sit on long enough, but I don't know. I've never had that issue before. But other than that and the shedding, I mean, it's really good. Um, it looks very, very natural. I cut some of the ends off. It wasn't too bad, but I mean, they were a little see-through, so I cut about an inch and a half um, off of that, and then I did put in long layers just so the days that I wanted to curl it, I could. I will let you know, this is not the natural state of it. I will um, put in a clip of it like after I've washed it, let it air dry, and then unfortunately I did brush it, so I should have just let it air dry without um, brushing it so you could have really seen like the definition, but it still gives you an idea. It has nice volume. Um, and I mean, it's an okay thickness. It's more realistic. So if you like thick hair, I would suggest getting an additional bundle. Uh, I considered it, but it's hot outside. When I wear this, I don't want to be on the brink of sweating. <laughs> so I just left it looking like more natural. Um, I am 5'8", so I will show you where the hair hits me. Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> um, and I shouldn't have worn a black shirt, but you see, you see, you can kind of see like where it hits me. Um, it's kind of like, mm, almost, it's like my lower back. It's right in my lower back. If I stretch it, it'll hit right above um, my butt. And that's with a couple inches um, cut off. So before I cut it, before I cut, okay, so it hits me right above my butt, like, even after I did that cut. So before I cut it, I mean, it hit me in my butt, whether it was straightened, whether it was in this natural state. So, I mean, it's good. It gives you 
a good natural luster and I really wish that you guys could see more just the lighting is it's so dreary and when I turn this one on it kind of washes me out but let's see there you go I should be able to see it does give you a natural luster um it does not really tingle um I will say though for it to look like this like just natural fluffy hair you have to keep a brush with you <laughs> you have to um if i go like an hour or so without brushing it i mean it looks natural it just it has this look about it that i don't really care for i can't really explain it it's not matted or like oily but it just it kind of like separates and it doesn't look as fluffy like it flattens down so if you want it to look like nice and flowy and just fluffy, you're gonna have to brush this hair quite often. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that you really need to know. The shipping was fast. Um, it took it about a week to get to me, if that. It might not even take me a week, and this is in the midst of all this coronavirus stuff. So, I mean, their shipping was really, really good. Um, the packaging, I will put in um, a clip of the packaging. Pretty pink. I mean, it was kind of basic, but I mean, it was cute. Um, but yeah, anything else you guys want to know, it does hold a curl. Um, I did curl it one day and it lasted for like three, four days before I got tired of it. Um, and even in this straight, straightened state, I haven't touched it up. I usually sleep with it in a ponytail um, and I put a scarf on and I take it down. I don't even have to re flat iron it the next day. So I will say if it takes the heat well. So if you straighten it, it does pretty well. If you curl it, it does well as well. Um, oh, and the only other thing that I will say that I was really disappointed in and not expecting was that it has this like a machine weft line here so i don't feel like and i wish i could show it to you but if you have this hair or if you get it you'll know exactly what i'm talking about it's like a thickened line like right here where it's like attached and i feel like i can't like part this hair down the middle and like wear it if i want to wear it in two braids or like two pigtails or whatever i can't do that with this hair because it has that line right there that is very 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 noticeable um so yeah i don't know what that's about but other than that i mean the hair itself the quality is amazing i think that i would stick to doing bundles in the frontal instead of buying the wigs um that's just my personal preference i feel like it would turn out the way that i want it but it is very natural like i i can't even knock that but anyway, I do want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, and if you have any questions about this hair that I just didn't think of, please leave them down below. Have a great day.